Still in Lake Tahoe. Actually in Myers. A little separate area in Lake Tahoe. As you head up on 50 towards those high switchbacks going up to Sierra and up over the top and down to Sacramento. All this snow has gotten me to thinking about thinking about hunting in Colorado with John Kennedy. I think it was the first time that I went out at his invitation. He said, would you like to go out on a hunt? Sure. So I had no idea just what was going to happen, but we went down to met him in Sanford. Then he met some other fellows that came together. I don't know, there was I think four or five vehicles. And we went out into what he called the Osier Mountain Country. They had some magnificent hills, some trails. And they went up on some trails and then the first thing I know they're having a little contest. I don't know just how long that contest went on, but the whole idea was who's got the best climbing ability in their vehicle. Well, I don't know if John won, but he probably wasn't last. Probably won. Those boys had more fun. Just in an area, I suppose, maybe 40 or 50, maybe 60 feet, maybe 100. Back up and run at that hill and see how high they could get. Nobody ever got to the top, but it's obviously a sport. Sport I'd never heard of, but there's a lot of sports I've never heard of. And I thought, geez, if we were going to hunt, and this is what we're doing? Well, it was still pretty early in the morning. And all of a sudden, we hear the sounds of an old, old-style locomotive. It was the days before they had the narrow-gauge railroad that operates regularly for tourists now out of Santonito, Colorado, in the San Luis Valley, up into the hills to Chama, New Mexico. In fact, I guess these were the railroaders, the hobbyists, that were trying to prove that, hey, we can get the track to work, repaired, and we can get an engine to work, repaired, and it's possible that we could get something going here. It'd be a real tourist attraction, be a fine addition to the economy of the southern tip of the San Luis Valley. So what we heard was, ooh, 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 ooh. And we all turned to look down, and holy cow, way down the slope, there was a water tower. I think it was Osier Mountain Stop on the old traditional, real old days when they were really operating that narrow gauge railroad. And the fellas had brought a train uh, engine out there, got it that far, probably was putting some more water in the in the boiler and testing things out. And oh, that sounded great. And while we're looking, and I think they knew they'd gotten our attention and we're looking back, I think we were looking probably, oh, half a mile to a mile down the slope to where they were. So they tooted the whistle again. And talk about being neat. The whistle you heard several seconds after you saw the steam. It was nice. You can't pay for an experience like that. It just happened. Never did happen again, but it was a sweet one. So they got through with their sport of seeing who can climb the mountain with their vehicle the best, drove around and chose a fair-sized hillside with quite heavy coverage of aspens and evergreens. And they mapped it out. So and so, you stay down here, the rest of us split this way, circle that, and then park and walk through. We'll drive any elk that are in there down towards the boys that are on point. And if we are lucky, we'll get an elk. And they did. I think just one. But they had a successful hunt. Well, I don't know just what all we did, but we did quite a bit more of this, that, and the other, and I think that was the only help we got that day. Don't really remember. Memory's not as good as it ever, as it used to be, and maybe it never ever was very good. I don't know. But what I do know is by the time we had a campfire and had lunch and then another campfire and ate a little in the evening, it was dark as we were going out. 
And all of a sudden, I hadn't noticed this going in. Evidently, we'd come up and climbed a real steep trail. But when you're going home in the dark, you come to that point, and here's your lights, and they're just shining out into nothing. Absolutely nothing. Of course, John knew what it was, where he was and knew it was absolutely safe. I know in my heart, I said, holy cow, does this man know where he is and what's going on? That looks dangerous. Wasn't dangerous at all. From then on, if we got to that stage in it, I just snored a little if I was as tired as it was that day. What a great hunt, though. All the snow, the train, the get the one elk, everybody was happy. It was great to be included. Thank you, John Candy. Thank you, San Luis Valley.